Okay, so you've downloaded my LUTs and somehow you want to maximize how to use these LUTs. You just don't want to be what you call the LUT addict who just puts on LUTs and that's it. You want to maximize these LUTs as much as possible to make your projects or your videos look more professional. So here I'm going to teach you how to use the Asian drama LUT. Okay guys, so now we're going to demonstrate on how to use the Asian drama LUT. Now in, in order for you to use that, you can get the Asian drama LUT from uh, filter grade I'll post the link below where you can get the Asian drama lot okay so right now we're gonna first fix off our exposure so in order to have good color grading you need to have the best color correction possible so right now if you look at our waveforms the waveforms are above 100% IRE so we have some clipping in this area so in order to bring that down we have to go to our primary primary wheels and in gain, we have to drop that down in order for those clipping to disappear. Now that we have the proper exposure, now we can go now and check the white balance. In order for us to do that, we can focus on a certain part of the cement. So we're going to use our windows. So we just select portion which we think is gray or white. Okay. So that now that you have focused that, you can highlight that using the highlight button over here and check our vector scope. Once you've checked our vector scope, as you can see, we just have a small dot right here. That means we have a gray image without any tints from the color space. Okay, so now we could remove that window, deactivate it, and so we don't have to do any more adjustments. And then we just delete that. And then we can also next fix the skin zone. So right now we're going to check our skin zones. Once again, we're going to, this time we're going to use a, a power window or a circle. So we're going to check this, her shoulder, because that is, has the most color data of her skin. And if you look at the vector scope here, right in our skin tone line, it seems that her skin is right on the money. So you can actually adjust that. So you can go to curves and go to hue versus hue and select the skin tone color and fine tune it as possible. Okay, now that we have fine tuned that, you can once again remove the circle power window. Okay, now that we have that, we can now isolate the skin using our qualifier. Just select the skin okay uh, make sure just we just have the skin all right and we can soften that up so don't worry about the other parts remember we just want the skin so less of the green okay if you want to see a clear picture of what you're isolating you can select your uh, highlight in black and white so yeah we have that skin tones over there okay so we also want to include her face uh, the shadows on her face so we can select that okay so it seems that the red areas are also selected so we want to minimize the red as much as possible okay okay it seems we we're getting a bit right so we can uh, remove it'll blur that up a bit blur it more okay not too much then we have the in and out area to make sure we have enough scope as possible and once we check that there's not much uh, wobbly movement let's blur it out more there we go and, uh, so probably clean up uh, yeah i guess that's clean enough so we're gonna name this skin okay now we're gonna name this exposure next we're gonna apply the lot what's in I'm going to apply the LUT, right click, the LUTs, 3D LUT, iridescence, our theme looks, and then we're going to go for Asian drama. Okay, now once you've applied that, if you look at our skin, if you see the difference between the one with the LUT and without the LUT, you notice that it seems that the skin color has changed. Now in order to fix that, we can uh, create a layer node go to color nodes and then go to add layer node and we now have a node below our LUT 
Now, in order for us to get back the skin and we don't have to repeat the process of qualifying the skin here, we can drag from our from the out alpha of the skin into the in alpha of the node underneath the lot. Okay, if you notice, there's a before and after. We now have good skin tones. Okay. And this is how you use my iridescent slot. Okay, so you have any more adjustments, like if you want to reduce the uh, saturation, you can actually do this here. Call this a uh, saturation. Okay, so we can probably make it around probably 45, something like that. Okay, and you want to reduce the reds, the saturation of the reds. Okay, you can lower that as well. Okay. And we have a nice looking image. Okay, I think the little red's on the floor. There we go. Okay, so that's how you use uh, create the Korean drama look. So, so from before and then now we have the after. So we have that, uh, you know, that clean, uh, beautiful, bluish look from the Korean dramas. Okay. Okay, I hope you learned how to use the Asian drama LUT, but if you want to know more about the LUTs that was used in this video, you can follow the link below and try to get these LUTs from FilterGrade. And I'm going to leave the links below. And if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, don't forget to leave them below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. And if you really like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. So I'll see you guys again for another video and Jepster out.